Today on All Over the Place, we're filling up with some high octane. Oh no, not this kind. This kind at High Octane Cafe and Bakery, the best filling station around. My grandma always loved her 1962 Impala SS, and so did I. Long story short, the car left the family, but I never stopped thinking about it. I tracked it down and bought it back. After a three and a half year restoration, it's time to drive. I'm Mickey York, and I'm all over the place. is obviously an automotive friendly establishment and every Saturday during their cars and coffee event they host a different theme obviously this week the theme is Jeep I see it all the time I hear it all the time it's a Jeep thing what is a Jeep thing uh, an excuse <laughs> for for when little stuff that normally bothers you you just accept it and say yeah it's a Jeep thing so <laughs> I, I'm still figuring that one out because to me it's like when something goes wrong you're like but it shouldn't do that. Oh, it's a Jeep thing. Okay, I guess. So we say Jeep family and people kind of think you're kidding around. <clears throat> but some of us have been together for almost three years now and it is a thing like, hey, I need help with this or hey, I broke down or, you know, I want to go but nobody wants to go. So we, we kind of band together, take care of each other. Yes, it could be rugged, it could be bouncy, but that's the whole fun part of it. You live in Michigan, it's, I mean, it's 40 one day and then it's 50 the next day. You can take the top off one day and the next day it's snowing. But it's, it's, it's just so worth it. It's fun. I mean, it's probably the most, if not most customizable vehicle out there. I mean, you, you can literally make it yours. newer Jeeps out here. What was it about this model that attracted you to it? Honestly, I wanted a Jeep that was going to always be the same age as me. <laughs> <laughs> so that way I can remember my age and the Jeep's age pretty easily. And um, I liked the style of like the 70s look, just the way that like the decals that they have on them and the colors. Um, and they, I just like the old school look. It's simple. It doesn't have all the crate. Well, I mean, I did put the electric with the engine, but you know, the dash is just simple. There's not a lot of buttons, but yeah. You love the looks about it. What do you like about driving? Um, I just like, it's very bouncy and some people may not like that, but I do because it just like reminds me of like back in the day. and. Um, this may sound weird, but I love the smell um, because I have the exhaust on the side. So, you know, I get out of it and I have that like old car kind of smell. <laughs> um, but I wear that same cologne. Yes, I love it though. I mean, it's like, it's crazy, but I'm like, my hair smells good. It's like exhaust. <laughs> but yeah, no, I just, it's fun just driving it because it's, you know, simple. Does Diego go for rides with you? Oh yeah, Diego is always in the Jeep. Um, well, he wants to talk. <laughs> he uh, takes some rides on the weekends when we just you know go for cruises. But he goes on off-roading trips all the time, and he's been in uh, other states off-roading at the different parks. So he's pretty well traveled and uh, a Jeeper himself. Well, Robert, as we're cruising around looking at all these Jeeps, we notice there's something wrong with yours. <laughs> well, on one side it does say wrong side, but it is a right-hand drive, so. Uh, named it Righty for that reason. So, how did you stumble across this? Um, when I started looking for a Jeep, I wanted something unique. And most Jeep owners, they lift them, they do all kinds of custom stuff to it. So I wanted to be a little bit different. And the dealership talked me into getting a right-hand drive. So that's what I did. Tom and Janice were both automotive engineers. Janice always had a passion and a talent for baking, so they decided to cash out of their day jobs and fuel their new careers with the High Octane Cafe and Bakery. And we just have always been big fans of cars. We like driving fast, we like cool cars, and so 
We get to host car events and see car people on a regular basis. So what's better than that? You guys must have figured out that this obviously is a car crazy area, yeah. right? To, to be able to get away with this kind of a thing. Right. Yeah, if we did this in the middle of Montana, it might not be so receptive. But the Motor City, uh, it treats us well. A lot of car enthusiasts, especially this time of year, people are itching. They've had cabin fever. They're anxious to get out and show off their car. So we've had a great time with it. How cool is it to have a place that's like automotive friendly, like high octane? It's 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 wonderful. I it's I almost have no words for it. It's great that they do like automotive themed weekends and all the Jeeps coming up here. You get to see the new ones, some of the older ones. Um, gives you ideas for customizations that you want to do by looking at everybody else's Jeep. Um, so it's great and we all get to chat and you meet new friends and find out about other Jeep events and groups to go to. Enjoy a good cup of coffee? Yes, exactly. Coffee and cookies. They have stuffed cookies that what? Crazy. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I, I better get in there. Oreo stuffed cookies, <laughs> Nutella stuffed cookies. I may have bought three for later. <laughs> but yeah, there's definitely some good stuff in there. It's great. It's a huge turnout. Uh, we didn't make it out last year, so we decided to this year. And I was quite surprised uh, how many people have come out this early in the morning. And a long line for coffee. <laughs> <laughs> was it worth it? Yeah, yeah. Yep, definitely. Our tanks are now officially full on great coffee, food, and of course, the iconic Jeep. But when you're all over the place, you know what time it is. Time to get back on the road. We'll see you next time.